my name is Joni. My page is Weathered Wings Art. I would love for you to follow me over there if you're not already. Um, but let's get started. I hope you guys are enjoying your, your day. All right, so what I want to start with, I've got these big um, Easter eggs, okay, that we are going to embellish. So right here, I've got one that I've already done, and I've got a the Astoria transfer on here. Uh, and these I've painted, and this one I've started. So I'm going to show you how to um, just paint these and how to use molds and how to use uh, transfers. All right, so first I'm going to just get some paint on here. Now you can just go ahead and glue it down. I'll just, uh, for now, just put some paint on it. Okay, so I'm going to add my first coat. I don't know why I went down to the bottom, but I usually do it half and half. But this one I'm going to actually add um, I'm going to add a mold to these. Okay, so we're going to do molds and transfers. I'm going to try to do this real quickly. And y'all, this color green is really um, pretty. It dries a pretty color. Okay, so let's, um, I'm actually going to set it right here and get it dry. It's dry enough. Let's get another coat on this one. I love this paint because it does cover, it, it'll cover just about anything, y'all, as long as it's clean. mold that I had in mind. This is, um, I want to use this piece right here, okay, and it is from, let's see, this is the Classic Elements mold, Classic Elements by IOD. So I've got this one piece, and I will do, um, and I'll show you how I got this first. So what do you want to do first is, I usually add a little cornstarch in the mold, just helps it release, okay? So I'm just gonna add a little cornstarch right here. All right, and then I'm taking um, air dry clay. Bow out of it, but this is the packaging. It's air dry clay, okay? And it's also by Iron Orchid Designs. Okay. And all of this is on my website as well at um, weatheredwings.com. So you just take a bit of your clay. It comes in a it comes in a like a block. Okay, so you're gonna take it and it's kind of like play-doh. Squeeze. It'll be soft. I've just had this one a while and I've been playing with it. So I'm gonna kind of shape it in the shape of the mold just a little bit, not really much, but just to get it. So you just press it down using your fingers to press the clay. Now you can use resin, um, epoxy resin or fast cast resin. But I thought for the purpose of this video, this might be easy. A lot of people are intimidated by resin, but I promise once you start, you'll be a little addicted to it because it's it gives um, really nice details when you use resin. I love clay as well, but it does have a tendency to shrink just a little bit. All right, so I rub the excess off with my thumb, and you just want it to be kind of smooth on top of here. I usually take either like a little putty knife, you can use a credit card, and just lightly go across the back of it. Then I just kind of rub the back again, make sure it's smooth before popping it out. You want the back smooth so you can go ahead and form it to your uh, surface and it would, it'll adhere nicely when it's very smooth like this. All right. All right, and then you just fold it not fold it, but you bend it over. And this is a pretty big one, so you just kind of 
help it out a little bit, okay? I wanted to kind of make it a little fancy and glue them on like this, have them matching like that. So I'm trying to figure out exactly where I need to put it, where it'll touch. All right, so I'm just gonna squeeze the glue on. Rub it with my fingers, I probably don't have enough. It's a pretty big mold, or a pretty big image. I always call it a mold, but the mold is what you put the clay in. Again, this one's called Classic Elements. So I rub the glue all the way to the edge. Because you want it to adhere very nicely along the edges, okay? So let's just, I'm moving it out towards the edge. And you notice that I took it right out of the mold, okay? So we're gonna glue it on right out of the mold. So you just tap it down. So if you don't glue it down right out of the mold, um, you won't be able to form it like this. See how I'm forming over a round object? See, we got that right there. So let, I'm gonna try to lay this down, maybe, and all right. Now I'm gonna put some glue on this one. I'm gonna do the same thing. All right, so I'm just gonna try to line it up like that. And you still have time to work with that other piece too. All right, so just get it on there good and start tapping it down. Gently, okay, gently, gently, gently. Now there are all kind of options. We have so many molds to choose from. You can just do all kind of things, but I thought this would be pretty for a start. Can add a pretty little mold like right here in the center. I think I may want to add a little, you could add a little something to the top that would be pretty, like a little flower. But let me go ahead and show you what I mean by just painting it. And I will, um, of course, show at the end what they look like, okay? But see, that's pretty. So you can, so let's just go ahead and get a little paint on it. Now, we're just gonna paint right over that. And if there are any gaps, I just kind of fill it in with my paint. Now it's best just to let this dry. Just let it dry on its own so you can add paint without worrying about um, being heavy handed with your paintbrush and messing up the details. But I'm gonna try to be really light here. Now I'm gonna set this one off to the side for just a minute and let it cool off a little bit, all right? I'm gonna show you how we get it uh, shiny, okay, like this. We're gonna use one of my favorite products, which is um, Paint Couture's Sheer Bliss. Now this is a transparent uh, metallic paint and it is gorgeous, it is gorgeous. Okay, so. I guess I'll just go ahead and try to do it on this one because I don't have one that doesn't have it on there. But I'll, let me just show you right here. I'll just go ahead and show you right here. So I'm going to take this paintbrush, okay, and just paint it on like this. The 
it's didn't completely dry either, so on the, the mold. This is the awesome sauce, right? It's, uh, it's just gorgeous. Again, it's called Sheer Bliss. I have all this on my website, weatherwings.com. So see, this is how it is when you paint it on. It's just kind of white, all right? And I'm gonna end up going all the way around it. And it's gonna, once you get it all on there, it's gonna end up just being like this, okay? Just nice and shiny all over. It dries itself levels and it's beautiful like this. All right, so let's move on. Um, so I did this, uh, I did this one the same way. I just used a different paint color. I used a little black dress, okay? Painted it just like I did the green. Used the sheer bliss, and I've got this nice, shiny. Now let's just move on to the transfers, okay? This is the one I used Astoria transfer on this one, which is just a bunch of little cut up pieces, okay? of the Astoria, all right? Which is this one right here. It's probably my favorite of the transfers. It comes in four sheets like this. And so that's where I just cut, I just cut pieces out. And um, I'm about to show you what I did with them, okay? So now I'm gonna be using the tr uh, Wander transfer, Wander. And it has, it's about to, I don't want it to fall out. It has four sheets as well and a bunch of flowers that I'm gonna cut out as well, okay? So this just comes in sheets and it has clear backings on them, okay? So it just comes in sheets like this and I just go and see, I've already cut some out. We're gonna do the black one. All right, that's the one I started on, so let's do that. The green one, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I may put more molds like I just did. All right, so here you just take the white backing off of it, okay? Find a good place to put it. And kind of put it around the top if you want to, have it coming down. I'm gonna put it close actually to this one that I've already done. So you just hold it down. this okay they all come with a little stick and all you do is actually rub it on there now it does help to have um have your piece sealed or you know after you paint it, it it's best to have some kind of top coat on it this has the metallic paint and it doesn't need a top coat and all you do is rub you just rub it on Try to hold one a piece, one side with your uh, with your hand as you as you uh, rub it on, and you can go in a circular motion. Sometimes it wants to be a little stubborn, so just work with it. Okay, and then check it. If you see a little piece, that's why you need to hold on to it. Some some of it may not come off, so some of it may need a little extra loving care. So just keep scrubbing. And I hold it so I won't, uh, so I'll keep it in place. This is another reason why it's good to have your egg glued together because I'm holding it pretty firmly. And I, I think I did glue this one. If not, it would pop open. The um, Astoria one did pop open. Ooh, I love the blue against the black. These, the colors on the Wander transfer are so vibrant and it looks so good up against black. Now 
Now these need to be sealed as well when you're done. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna go back over it. When I get all the transfers on here, I'm gonna go back over it with, um, with the Sheer Bliss metallic paint. You can put that right over the transfers as well and it's beautiful. sure it's all adhered good. Okay, just they call it burnishing. You can use a little rag or love that. And so look, I just kind of go around now and start picking out flowers and layering them on. All right, so here's here's a pretty um gold yellow flower. So let's just I'm gonna cut those out. These are just kind of whimsical flowers on the wander, but they're so bright and cheerful. Great for spring. All right. So I just cut those out. All right. Do the same thing. Um, and I just find a spot. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I think I have it like I like it. Isn't that pretty, y'all? All right, let me show you real quick now how we're gonna add the Sheer Bliss Metallic. And that's what we're gonna seal it with. Now, you can just seal it with polycrylic. I'm gonna use the Sheer Bliss because it looks beautiful over tra transfers because they all shimmer as well. I'm just going to come all the way down. And come out like this. This dries, this will be shimmery, just like this one, okay? It'll just have the nice shimmer, just a little shimmer, okay? It's not gaudy or anything, but that that's how this one will look. And I will post pictures. Here's our um, molded one that's drying, okay? So what I'm going to do, I will add the Sheer Bliss over this. it all right there and that'll dry and be pretty so that's it guys I hope I hope this was enjoyable I hope this has inspired you to try transfers and molds um again I appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the craft-a-thon